discovercal.com, an event scheduler platform that will make it easy for you to organize meetings with your prospect, client, and team members. It's an alternative to Calendly with some unique and powerful features. Together, we will have a quick platform overview. Then we will see how to set up your own instance on LSTO. On a fresh install, the first thing we need to do is to create an account. You choose your username. I use my name. Enter your email address and select a password. Then create account. Then you will receive a confirmation email. You click on the link and you're ready to go. Let's follow the onboarding process. We need to enter our full name. Then we have to choose our time zone, but it's automatically detected. The mine is Asia Tokyo. Next step, we can connect our calendar. Let's use the Google Calendar. I select the account I want to connect it to. Then I need to accept the permission and say continue. You can select the different calendar you want to connect to your account. I would just, just choose the default one and hit continue. You can also add different video apps for your call when you organize meetings. I would keep the default one, so set up later. Then we need to choose a range time where people can book meetings with us. But let's say we want to have a lunch break. We will say until here we say add new time slot and we can space it a bit set it at 1 pm to 3 so we have 45 minutes lunch break we'll keep the default it's just a demo then the final step is to create our profile let's add a profile photo save it and we can write a small description demo lsocal.com finish what is great about this application is just out of the onboarding process, we are ready to use it. So it generated automatically three links, two which are public and one that is hidden. Let's open the first one. This is for 15 minutes meeting. We can select a date. We can enter our name, our email address and confirm it. We can see it will automatically generate a video call with Cal Video. Let's say our name is prospect i will keep my address i want to discuss about your products and confirm we can even add guests we have that confirmation screen telling us who is joining the call now when i open my calendar i can see the event has been automatically added i have who and where which is the link on the video conference there is another link to reschedule the event or to cancel it, which brings me back to the confirmation page, but on the bottom I can reschedule or cancel. Let's cancel event. Now it is canceled and it disappeared from my calendar. The difference with the hidden and the public one is you have a public page that you can share with people so they can choose between the 15 minute meeting and 30 minute meeting. But let's say for some special customer or for a special team member, you want to have different type of meeting, but you don't want to allow anyone to join them. Let's go to secret meeting, edit it. We can say for this special type of event, either we set a longer duration or we allow people to select the duration between different slots. So they can choose 30, 60. It's up to them because those are people you trust. You have very fine tuned control. For example, the location, you can decide, no, this one is not a meeting, but you can give them directly your phone number. You have a lot of options. For example, how often it can be booked. You also can ask booking questions. So you have enough info to do the meeting. You can make it a recurring event. So you organize it a weekly event. You can also add different apps for a single event, but you can also add apps for your global profile. You can also set up webhooks. So it will be automatically connected to your backend and you can handle those events for your specific project. As it is secret, you have the choice by copy the link and send it directly to the person you want to have access to, or you can embed on a secret web page. It can be, for example, a password protected page where only premium users will be able to book those meetings. On your dashboard, you can see all your bookings, the upcoming one, you can cancel and have control over it, request a reschedule, edit the location or cancel it. You can see the unconfirmed one, the recurring one, the past, and also the cancel. For example, the one that we canceled earlier. Of course, you don't have to check every time your dashboard, you will receive email confirmation. And as it is connected to your calendar, it is seamless. A great feature that they provide is that you can create a team. So it's not only your availability, but your team members availability. So you can use it for different types of things. For example, you want to organize a call from one prospect with 
multi-members from your team, which is the collective scheduling. Or you can set a round robin. So someone can book a slot if any of your team is available. To my opinion, it is a killer feature. You can integrate Carl.com with many popular apps from your favorite type of calendar or your video conferencing tool, but also integration with CRM or any tool that can help you. Some features like the routing forms are requiring an enterprise license, but the public free version already offers a lot. You have multiple options available to install your instance of cal.com. You can use their cloud version. They have a free tier for individuals, but you also have a team's pricing or an enterprise pricing. You just have to click the get started button and you're ready to go. Together, we will see how to use the open source self-hosted version using LSTO. Go to ls.io, hit login, deploy my first service, search for cal.com, hit select, then choose your cloud provider, choose your region, your service plan, hit next, choose your level of support. You can rename, for example, Cal, and hit create service. I just received the email with my instance information as it is in the open source self-hosted version. To install the default app, for example, Google Calendar, you need to follow the instructions to install those apps. The documentation is very well made. You have just to follow the instruction and then you will get an API key. Most of the time when you finish to follow their instruction, they will ask you to add an environment variable. Go to your platform dashboard, click on update config in LSTO and in the environment, add your environment variables. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and you will give a try to cal.com. If it's the case, please hit the like button as it really helps this channel to be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to continue discovering great free tools. In the meantime, you can watch our existing videos available here.